Seriously, you need to drop this weight. It's killing you. I cried. I cried all the way home. And I said, okay, I'll do it. I'm excited to go through this surgery because I believe on the other side, there's so many benefits to that, that several years ago, I would never have thought of it that way. I'm going through this for health reasons. My doctors really suggested this a couple years ago and I didn't really take it seriously then. I have cardiology problems. I've had two open heart surgeries, a triple bypass, and two and a half years later, I had my aortic valve replaced. My heart is enlarged. Um, it's very stiff, Does not it's not as pliable as it should be. And so, kind of a walking mess. I was a chunky monkey from birth. <laughs> I was eight, seven, 19 inches long. So I even have pictures of me at nine months old and I was always a chunky child. And we had to drive from that town to Lawton, Oklahoma or Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, just to buy my clothes because I was in the chubby sizes. So that kind of set a thing in my mind. I'm overweight. You know, my parents had tried to help me with losing weight as I got a little older. When I got married at 20, I was very thin. Looking back now, I thought I was heavy as I am now. And then, let's see, it was in, I wanna say 2009, I had lost 50 pounds and got, I was pretty thin at the time. And then we moved here to Kansas and I started to get sick. And they immediately put me on insulin. And from that point on, I started to gain the weight. And I wish I had known more to know how to fight it some, because it's a natural thing that it makes you hungry. And it, that happens to a lot of people. They put on the weight and it, it's a vicious cycle because the more insulin you take, the less it is that you can drop the weight. So that's kind of the cycle I became in. I've been on insulin since that time, like two, 2009, I want to say. Uh, I have been on an insulin pump for five years. My cardiologist suggested, because of the issues that I'm having, that I would seek out Dr. Brown and the surgery. And at that time, as we walked out of his office, my husband and I, I said, I have been through so many surgeries. I have had so many heart calves. I, I just don't want to go through another surgery. I just can't do it. And so I didn't proceed with that. And then this summer, which was June, uh, I started having issues, had to go through another heart cath. And I came back up here and saw Dr. Bowles, my primary cardiologist that has taken care of me all through for years. And he said, seriously, you need to drop this weight. It's killing you. I cried. I cried all the way home. And I said, okay, I'll do it. At that time, I was 298. The heaviest I've ever been in my whole life, ever. And it was like a total wake up call. So we had that settled. And then I started working with Amanda, uh, the nurse uh, with the program and Rebecca, dietitian. They're awesome people. And I, even though I'm in Oklahoma, I feel like I have a lifeline to them. They're easy to contact by email, phone, whatever. They, I mean, you don't feel like you're just out there floating. And so that's made a whole big difference for me too. They gave me this notebook, uh, Amanda did, the first time I met with them. And it, it breaks down your nutrition, what you will go through before your two week uh, liquid diet before surgery. Uh, my problem at the first week was to get enough shakes down. Some days I'd only get two in because they're so sweet. And through my pharmacist, she helped me find a plant-based uh, protein shake, which was such a blessing because it, it cuts that sweetness. I'm excited to go through this surgery because I believe on the other side, there's so many benefits to that 
that several years ago I would never have thought of it that way. The gastroparesis will be gone because the bypass will bypass the nerve that causes that issue in my stomach. And just to know how that won't, I won't have that anymore is, is awesome. My CPAP, I don't know how long it will take, but I know eventually I will come off of the CPAP. And he, I said, what about the retinopathy? Do you think that that could go away? He said, yes, it's very possible. I got so excited. I didn't think that was ever possible. So I, I kind of look at this, it's like a redo. How many people get the chance to have a redo with their health? I mean, the weight loss is just a nice bonus. The biggest thing was I worked for a designer years ago. His name is Manuel. You know, he did stuff for Johnny Cash. He did Elvis's jumpsuits, um, James Dean movie stuff, you know, that kind of thing. And I was fortunate enough to work for him for a short time. But the thing that broke my heart is when I worked for him, I could never try on any of the coats in the stores that he does. I mean, here I would put shirts together, you know, and it's like, oh man, just to try one. In fact, um, at one party we went to, my husband was able to borrow a shirt. You know, a Manuel Lonema rhinestone embroidered Western shirt. And I thought, oh wow, if I could have only borrowed a coat. I mean, it, it'd been so easy. So that's my goal, is to go back down to his store. He still has his store in Nashville and um, try on any coat I want.